Hello and welcome to Leo's Tech Talk. Here, we make tech, simple, and accessible. Hello viewers. This video is to explain the notion that electric vehicles are always more affordable is a misconception. Internal combustion engine vehicles are in use for decades and depend on natural resources for fuel which are diminishing. The need for finding alternative is urgent and crucial. Electric vehicles are emerging as a vital technological alternative for the future. While EVs offer many benefits, their true cost depends on a variety of factors that we will break down. Initial Purchase Cost Electric vehicles have a higher initial purchase cost due to the cost of batteries and evolving electric drivetrain technology, whereas the cost of petrol or diesel cars are lower since the IC engine technology is well established. Fuel Cost Fuel cost for electric vehicles are lower due to the cheaper cost of electricity per kilometer compared to diesel or petrol cars. Maintenance and Repairs Petrol or diesel vehicles require regular maintenance including oil change, brake pad change, etc. compared to electric vehicles which require less frequent maintenance since there are less moving parts, no oil change required and less brake wear, due to regenerative braking. Incentives Indian government promotes electric vehicles by offering significant incentives whereas the incentive for petrol or diesel vehicle is nil. A comparison on the initial purchase cost of Tata Nexon petrol version versus the Tata Nexon EV version in India. X showroom price, Tata Nexon petrol costs Rs 9,94,900, and Tata Nexon EV costs Rs 16,30,000. RTO charges, Tata Nexon petrol costs Rs 69,643, while Tata Nexon EV costs Rs 0. Insurance charges, Tata Nexon petrol costs Rs 49,745, while Tata Nexon EV costs Rs 81,500. Registration charges, Tata Nexon petrol costs Rs 600 while Tata Nexon EV also costs Rs 600. Other registration charges, Tata Nexon petrol costs Rs 4,000, while Tata Nexon EV also costs Rs 4,000. FAS tag charges, Tata Nexon petrol costs Rs 200, while Tata Nexon EV also costs Rs 200. Hypothecation endorsement charges, Tata Nexon petrol costs Rs 1,500, while Tata Nexon EV also costs Rs 1,500. Road safety cess charges, Tata Nexon petrol costs Rs 1,791, while Tata Nexon EV costs Rs 2,934. Other charges, Tata Nexon petrol costs Rs 400, while Tata Nexon EV also costs Rs 400. Total, Tata Nexon petrol costs Rs 11,22,779, while Tata Nexon EV costs Rs 17,21,134. Initial purchase cost of Tata Nexon petrol version is 5,98,355 rupees cheaper compared to the Tata Nexon electric version. Maintenance and fuel cost are high in the petrol version compared to electric version. Let us do a calculation to recover the initial extra cost spent on electric car above by assuming the following. Assumptions. Analysis years. 8. Kilometers covered in a year is 18,250 at the rate of 50 kilometers per day. Running cost analysis for 8 years. Service and maintenance cost. Tata Nexon petrol costs Rs 2,40,000, while Tata Nexon EV costs Rs 2,96,000. Fuel cost, Tata Nexon petrol costs Rs 10,43,000, while Tata Nexon EV costs Rs 1,24,100. Average insurance cost, Tata Nexon petrol costs Rs 2,7,745, while Tata Nexon EV costs Rs 3,26,500. Total running cost for 8 years. Tata Nexon petrol costs Rs 14,90,745, while Tata Nexon EV costs Rs 7,46,600. So overall cost of the petrol vehicle is Rs 11,22,779 plus Rs 14,90,745, is equal to 26,13,524 and overall cost of the electric vehicle is Rs 17,21,134 plus Rs 7,46,600 is equal to 24,67,734. From the analysis, the belief that electric vehicles are consistently less expensive is a common misunderstanding, where the higher EMI you have to pay for the extra initial cost of the EV is not considered. Battery can be charged 1,500 times as per standard practice. So when you charge the battery on a daily basis you may end up changing the battery in 5 years. By the end of 8th year you may have to replace the battery of your EV which costs you approximately at least 4 lakhs. If battery replacement is taken into account, petrol or the IC engine performs better. Also, when you go for a long drive, the extra charging time required may bring down the average speed of the vehicle. Only point here for EV users is that you're helping for a cleaner environment. Thank you for watching.